Hello friends, this video on motion in a plane part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to 10 before going ahead with part 11. Now we will start motion in a plane. So first of all, let us look at what do we mean by motion in a plane. Now the term plane, what does it mean? Plane means something which is two dimensional. That means some an area which has two axes, x axis as well as y axis. When I talk, there are three things which we talk about normally. One is line. When I talk of line, we talk of only one axis, that is x axis. When I talk of plane, I talk of two axes, x and y. When I talk of space, I talk of three dimensions, that is x, y and z. Fine. So these are the three things which we generally talk about. Right. So here in this chapter, we will study motion in a plane, that means motion in two dimensions. In our previous chapter, we had studied motion in a straight line, that was motion in one dimension. So basically motion in a plane is nothing but motion in two dimensions. So the topics which we will cover under motion in two dimensions are position vector and displacement, velocity, acceleration. So friends, please note here that these three topics which we are going to cover now, we have already covered the same topics in motion in one dimension. So, while covering these topics, the basic concept will still remain the same. What I will emphasize here is, how do we use or how do we uh, understand position vector, displacement, velocity and acceleration in two dimensions. Right? So, now let us start with position vector and displacement. So, here comes position vector. Position vector is generally denoted by a small r. Now, why do we have this arrow? It's a vector, right? Now, position vector is given by in two dimension. When I talk of two dimension, any position vector is represented as x i cap plus y j cap. Now, friends, please have a look. What is this? How do we get this representation? In our previous slides on vectors, we saw that any vector, if we have any vector a, that vector can be represented in terms of its components along x and y axis. In this way, ax i cap plus ay j cap. So the same rule applies for the position vector r. So r is equal to x i cap plus y j cap. Where x and y, what is x and y? x and y are the components of position vector they are the components of position vector along x and y axis respective. Okay. Now, what I will try to show you is how, I mean, how I uh, will show you some three scenarios to explain you how do you know what is the position vector. Let us look at the first scenario. Please observe the motion of the car carefully. What do you see? The car moves along a straight line in this direction. Right? So, if I ask you to plot the motion in this graph, how would it look? It would look something like this. Right? The car is moving in this direction. So, in this case, if I ask you to plot the position vector, the position vector, let us suppose the position of the particle at any instant of time is P1. So, that P1 would be some point on the x-axis itself. So, the position vector would be this line. Right. Similarly, let us suppose we consider another scenario where a car is moving in the negative y direction. So again in this case, the position vector would be somewhere along this direction. Right. Similarly, now we consider a separate scenario where a car is moving in a little curvy path. If you see, it is not moving in a straight line. It is moving in a little curvy path along this direction. So in this case, what happens is, the car is not moving in a straight line. It is moving in a curvy path. So we cannot say that the motion is one dimension. Now it has components along x-axis as well as along y-axis. 
So in this case, at any point of time, we can say that the position of the car can be represented at some point, say P. And if we join this from the origin, that is the position vector, right? So this OP represents the position vector. Now, how do we represent position vector? By R. So this R represents the position vector of this car, right? So the, now if you observe very carefully, at any point on this R, you have the x component as well as y component. If you consider this point, x component is i 1, value of y component is 1. So look, let us suppose at this point, what would be the value of the position vector? You can say r would be equal to 1 i cap plus 1 j cap, right? Similarly, let us suppose at this point, what would be r? r at this point would be 2 i cap plus 2 j cap. I am just trying to make you understand the basic concept. I mean, what is R and how is it related to this expression? I am just trying to explain this expression and trying to relate it with this graph. Right? So, I hope it is clear to you now that what is a position vector basically. Like position vector is nothing but a vector which represents the position of a particle at a particular instant of time. And when I talk of two dimensions, the graph will always represent y, the y-axis will always represent y, that means the position of the particle along y-axis, x-axis will represent x, that is the position of the particle along x-axis. So this y and x represents the both represent position of the particle, this is along y-axis, this is along x-axis. So please make sure that even after we go to the next slides for velocity or acceleration. Whenever we plot a graph, in all the graphs, the y-axis will represent the position or the movement of the particle along y-axis and x-axis will represent the movement of the particle along x-axis. Right? So do not get confused because when we studied motion in one dimension, we said that x-axis always represents time. But in this case, x-axis and y-axis will be both represent the position of the part. Fine. So the basic idea of, you, you got a basic picture of what is a position vector, how do you denote it? Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.